Hello, Paul here, and I want to take you through the top new features as of November 2016. Here I am in Photoshop CC. First off, no, I can obviously see my recent files, but I actually have access to my CC files. These Creative Cloud files are actually on my desktop. So if I take a look right over here, Creative Cloud files, these are the same files as you can see no matter how silly so I can start with any one of these or I can just go to file new so there, there's some big improvements here so notice as I create a new document I can give it a different uh, pixel ratio if I want to advanced options gets into color that's cool from there I can create a file there I can save templates as well but I want to dive into this because what if you're making say for instance a collage well guess what there's a template for that what about something for print a brochure or any art and illustration check this out just gorgeous work right in here and we can see a preview of it look at how gorgeous this is so this is a new improvement we have a uh, web content I'm just gonna jump right in here I'm gonna go with this texture geometric masks and I can see a preview of it and then what I can do is I could actually if I like it download it there's actually 15 geometric masks in here and you can see here's the template. I could start using it right away. In fact, let's look at the layers panel because you could see all these different designs. Okay, so uh, there's a number of them in here, obviously. Lots of really cool ones. And what I want to do now is I actually want to pick one of these and then actually grab an image from Adobe Stock. And I can search Adobe Stock right in here in Libraries. Notice how there's the template. I can search all libraries or I can search Adobe Stock. So that's what I could do here is I could search for leaves. Just some cool texture there. Obviously, I can sort by these different types. And notice, as I select this, maybe I want one similar. Well, sure enough, find similar leaves. Maybe I want fall leaves, because obviously it's fall. And I can go with, say, for instance, this one. So I could save a preview to stock templates, which is currently where I'm at. There it is. And I can drop it in a number of ways. In fact, I could drop it right over here into my layers panel like that because I want to make sure it's behind uh, that design and I can start to work with it that way. Now, let's say I want to do something, um, I don't know, maybe that I don't know how to do or uh, maybe there's a tool. I'm not sure where it is. I want to introduce you to Universal Search up here in the upper right. Clicking on this Universal Search right here, I can type in, well, I'm just going to do something simple, crop. It gives me the crop tool, how to crop and straighten photos, and all these different options when it comes to cropping and editing images that way. Okay, so that's everything in Photoshop. I can also learn how to use the content aware crop capability, which is actually pretty new, and then actually can search through stock. Obviously, I don't want crop fields. You get the idea, but check this out. I could select the crop tool. It highlights it right over here. Even if this was a panel, maybe it was hue and saturation, it'll open up hue and saturation ready for you to use. But now I know what I need to do. It's like I don't want to make sure I'm making sure I don't want to delete the cropped pixels, but let's just kind of kind of crunch that down. Something like that. And I actually want to show you the properties panel. You can see it up right here, but look at it. it actually is uh, actually a lot more useful if I'm being honest. Because look, we have width and height, a lot of these capabilities. So if I wanted to kind of move this around, I can move it numerically, right? So if I want it to be X of zero, I can move that over a Y of zero numerically editing this and it doesn't matter what it is because even as I start to add a type M-A-S-I just some simple type right up here sure I could change the color but with this properties panel it makes it easy I can jump in maybe I'll pick a color something like that and adjust accordingly for this project that I'm working on and if I want to get more advanced with the properties for this type I can click advanced it's going to open up the character panel paragraph is right there as well so the all new properties panel with this pixel level control is awesome and the great thing about this text is once I want to commit it I could just click outside of the text and it commits it no need to come up here and check that little checkbox just click off the text love that as well but now let's take a look at photography really fast because what I want to do is I want to just modify this face a little bit. So I'm going to go into liquify. Notice how there's facial recognition so we can actually recognize that face. You know, again, this is uh, roughly, this is winter me and this is summer me. You get the idea. But what we actually have is we have control over these eyes independently. 
All right, so I can adjust this eye, make this one larger or smaller, or this one larger or smaller independently. So some quick, quick operations in there. Obviously, we can show the mesh or not show the mesh, show the face overlay, can turn that off. You know, again, just little tweaks is maybe what we want to do here. And again, I'm just kind of grabbing this mouth and adjusting. And that's what you can do, uh, this face aware liquify in Photoshop. Now I can get into surface blur, which is 10 times faster, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Actually, what I want to do is I'm just going to do a quick selection using the quick select tool. Again, I could just start selecting these different parts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mask right now. Okay, so select and mask is what I have now. Just using really fast the quick selection tool. Notice how I can come in and refine that edge like we know we would, right? Just to sort of make sure I get all those little hairs on the edge. But also what we've added is the polygonal lasso tool. So even as you're going through, again, this is just great for hard edges, maybe around that collar. I can use the polygonal lasso tool, which is available when masking and selecting. Also note that we have this high quality preview. So I could check that and you'll actually get a high quality preview of the photo. Might have to downsample it just to improve performance, but you could always click over high quality preview to see how it looks. You can even go back into say the onion skinning and uh, increase or decrease the transparency that way. Just kind of see how it looks. But I'd say that looks pretty good. I can add some text back there. Whatever I need to do, again, very simply done with select and mask. And again, those are just a couple of the new features in Photoshop CC. Mainly I love the new sort of starter templates, if you will. Fantastic to use. So check it out today.